Hey! So, it's like Christmas for me. I have a bunch of boxes from Cheap Joe's. Um, I started teaming up with Cheap Joe's earlier this month, and um, so I'm a merchandise ambassador for Cheap Joe's. So I'm doing this little video to show what I got from them in, in my recent order, and then they help provide me with materials for um, all of my art. What's neat is that I already use a bunch of Cheap Joe's products, and I've already talked about them on the website for a year or two now, and um, so it's not like I'm having to fake somehow liking these products. They're all things that I was already trying out and using, which is neat. Um, additionally, if I want to try out new stuff like certain brushes or certain paints or water-based oils, other things I've been interested in, then Cheap Joe's will provide me those materials and I can try them out and then talk about what I think about them and I can talk about them on the blog and stuff. So, fun! Um, so this first box has got paper in it and um, Cheap Joe's makes a kind of watercolor paper called Kilimanjaro and we have two sets of five sheets. One's a super bright white and we can see in the other it's a different kind of white. It's a little bit more yellow. So I got this paper and then I got lucky. I ordered a bunch of this material just at the beginning of a shelter in place and it came in late last week. So uh, I've been very eager to open everything and see all my goodies. <laughs> sure, put everybody. So um, I ordered a bunch of paper, paints, and all kinds of good stuff. Let's see what's in here. Aha! So, I ordered two new gator board uh, foam core pieces. So my old pieces are, um, they're all warped. They're no longer flat and uh, they're all smashed and falling apart. So I'm really excited to get some new pieces. That, um, I, when I wet the paper and I stick it to the backing, it, it creates a lot of tension, and over time, a year, two, three, even more like three, um, it warps the boards, and it's just time to get a new board. So I got that, and then, <laughs> I got so much paper. I love it! So I got 50 sheets of uh, Saunders Waterford, and uh, they carry this too. And it is Saunders, I like Saunders Waterford uh, Rough, and it's a uh, 140 pound. There's the 140 pound. So I have 50 sheets of this now, plus the Kilimanjaro paper, so I have 60 sheets of paper. I think I can make it through April. <laughs> um, so that's really fun. But wait, there's more. The other thing, I got another box, and um, they also, I like their American Journey paints. Um, research says that um, they're actually made by a Da Vinci manufacturer, so they're quality um, paints. And um, I like them in the big bulk sizes. I get them in 35 milliliter sizes, and um, but they also carry paints from a lot of other manufacturers, which is really cool. So, um, and I use some specialty paints from other places. So for example, I have a Cobalt Turquoise Light by Winsor Newton, which is an interesting granulating teal. And uh, Perlin Green by Winsor Newton, um, which is also something that isn't carried in the American Journey um, range. And um, I also get, for example, um, Naples Yellow, which is by M. Graham. And this has a certain kind of semi-opaque pigment, pale pigment that I like to use as well. So they carry all these different brands. I like that. I can do all my shopping in a single space. And then um, I ordered bajillions of tubes of um, American Dream Paints, <laughs> and um, so I got burnt, I got um, 
cadmium yellow light, which I already used. I'm trying out alizarin crimson, which is, uh, of course, not actually alizarin crimson, um, but I need a dark, uh, light, fast red to mix with my greens to mute them from time to time. And I got double of certain things. So I got more cadmium light on my palette. I normally have two wells for my cadmium light. I got cadmium orange, which I normally use from American Journey as well. I got two tubes of burnt sienna by American Journey. I got a tube of viridian, which I also like to use. I got two tubes of ultramarine. Joe's Red, which is the same pigment as Windsor Red, so I just switched over to the Joe's Red. And, um, and another Ultramarine. So what's nice about the American Journey paints is that they come in super big sizes and they're, um, at least for people in the US, they're affordably priced for the volume of paint that you get. So um, anyways, <laughs> he even sent me a ridiculous hat. That's okay. So thank you, Joe. And I am looking forward to getting some painting done this month. Right. Bye.